Hi, I'm Jody Ross, town manager, and I'm here with Tim Whitcomb, our operations supervisor of our combined dispatch center, and Eric Heideman, our assistant town manager. So, where are we standing? Uh, Tim, can you tell us where we're standing? A lot of work going on, as you can see. They've been putting up the walls and people in and out, in and out. Lots and lots of stuff going on. Got a ways to go, but things are looking pretty good. So this is where our police and fire department dispatchers will be located. And when are we due to open, Tim? Currently on the timeline, some, some point in August. Okay. And so it'll all happen here. We'll have four different stations, and then we'll have an office for the supervisor, Tim, and we will have uh, a much more efficient 911 system in the town. We are going to town meeting on July 10th because we do need an additional appropriation, and we urge you to come to the at school at 7.30 p.m. on August 10th to help us finish this very important project. So thank you, Tim. You're welcome. Thanks. Few other things to tell you about. We have three requests for proposals out, one for the 12 North Main Street Mill, one for the town farm, and one for the Rodenbush buildings to lease to a community center. Eric, do you want to tell us a little bit about where the three of those projects are? Sure, um, the 12 North Main uh, RFP is currently going to be getting extended for about another, another month. We expect to have responses back the end of July, and the task force that's formed for that uh, group will be reviewing proposals to see what we get back, so we're really looking forward to that. The town farm uh, disposition, we did receive one proposal on that from Yule Development Corporation. Um, we did review it, and we had some questions as a review group, and we're looking for some more information back, and we'll hopefully be making a recommendation to the Board of Selectmen soon. And lastly, it was the road, road bush. bush. So um, we did receive uh, only one proposal back for the lease of the road and bush buildings. There was, the, which included the old nab, the frost, and the road and bush community center building. Um, it was from the road and bush community center Inc. And we are in the process as a review group to um, evaluate that proposal and make a recommendation to the board of selectmen as well, which we hope to do on July 11th. Awesome. Thank you for telling us about that. Another thing I want to mention is we did have our strategic planning retreat at Kimball Farm. We had 268 people attend. It was a great night. And so please join us next year uh, at that event if you can. Other exciting news is we received a $250,000 Green Community Grant for being a green community. And we have to thank Eric Heideman and the Energy Committee for all of their efforts on putting that application together. We replaced lights with LED lights and other energy efficiency projects. Lastly, uh, we have another town meeting scheduled for October 16th. That's our fall town meeting. And the warrant is open and citizen petition articles are due to the selectmen by September 12th at noon. So please join us on July 10th at the Abbott School, 7.30 p.m. for a very important town meeting. We also have a, a request for a Massachusetts School Building Association uh, grant funding for the Abbott School replacement. And that paperwork is also due in July, so that will be on the warrant. We are mailing the postcards to your homes this week. Have a wonderful, safe, happy uh, July 4th. Thank you.